How to use last pass last pass beginners tutorial. Hi guys, welcome back. Today I will show you how you can get started with last password and how you can save and secure all of your different platform with last password. So let's get started. First, what you have to do is you will simply go to last pass.com and you will land on this platform right here lastpass is a password management software that allows you to put all of your digital fingerprints right here in one platform and you can access all of your different social media your um, applications from here and you don't have to go through the hassle of saving different passwords on in different places so to get started with last password and you can simply sign up with a plan or you can get started with free so with free you will be getting unlimited password password 30 day premium trial save and autofill passwords one to one sharing we also have a premium plan which is going to be three dollars per month if built annually and then there is a families plan which is for families and it is going to be four dollars per month if built annually so you can get started with any of these i will simply go ahead and get started with this one right here so to sign up with last password or to create an account with last password what you have to do is you will simply enter an email address you have to enter a master password right here it will be suggested you can simply select it and then you can simply add a reminder as well if you want to now click on sign up it's free and then you will be able to sign up for last password LastPass is a Google extension, so you will have to add it to your browser. Simply click on Install LastPass. It will take you to Chrome Web Store and then simply download the extension. Once you add your last password extension to your Google, you can actually, you know, pin it right here as well. And then you will simply sign in. So this is our main menu that we get here. It's very easy to use. You can see we have all items and in here I will be able to see all of my walls that I have created. Then we have the password. This is where we simply create new items. We add different social medias, different platforms, and I will just show you in a minute. Then we have notes and in here I can simply go ahead and add different notes, contracts and documents. We can also add addresses right here and we can, you know, add phone numbers and email address as well. Then we have payment cards. So we can not only add passwords, but we can also add our payment cards such as our credit cards, debit cards and anything else that we shop with. We can also add our bank account. So LastPass is actually really secure. You don't have to worry about anything. And then we, of course, have our security dashboard, sharing center, emergency access, and account settings. Let's go to passwords right here. And you will find the option right here which says add item. We can also add a new folder. But for now, let's click on add item. What you have to do is you will simply enter the URL. Let's go with google.com. Now the name is going to be Google. If you want to select a folder, for example, I can create a folder with browsers and my Google right here. Then we have to enter our username and you will simply enter your site password right here. We can also go ahead and add different notes if we want to for this item right here. But for now, I have added the URL, name, username and password. Then you will simply click on save and it will be saved just like that. And you can see now they have also added this, you know, icon and I have my Google saved right here. Similarly, I can click on again, add new item. And this time, maybe I can select YouTube there you go youtube.com all of the urls are available but you can also copy paste any url you want to of any website so the name will be added right here again we can select a folder as well username whatever username you have on youtube and whatever password you have you will simply enter it right here there you go and then i can add notes we also have advanced settings right here and we can add a master password as well or maybe auto login or disable autofill if you do not want this uh, so for now i'm just going to click on save and you will see that a new item will be created right here and it is going to be youtube 
So this way we can actually add as many platforms as we want to. Similarly, I can go to add folder and I can create a folder. So let's go ahead and create a folder for social media and we can also create a subfolder. But for now, I'm just going to go with the folder name and click on save. Once you do that, then a new folder will be created into that folder i can just simply select a folder uh, right here from this option and with now when it comes to folder i can just simply type in the folder name as well or select it and it will be added to the folder that we have right here you can see social media and then we have youtube here just for the example so that is how you simply create a folders and add different accounts right here with last pass and it's very easy to do now let's go to addresses and creating an address again is really easy. You simply click on add item and this time because it's an address. So of course the details will be different. You simply enter the name of the item first. So let's say that I am going to be adding an address of my client. So I'm just going to go ahead and type in the name. Then we can select a folder uh, if we want to. So we have just created a folder known as social media. So maybe I'll create another folder for this one and we can add an attachment. Then you have to add the title. So it's going to be Mr. In here, I had to type clients. So then we have to add the middle name, last name. So you will simply, you know, enter all of the details right here, such as username, gender, birthday, address, city, state, country, time zone, phone number, mobile phone, and then you have facts and notes as well. Then simply click on save and a new address will be added right here. So we can save our addresses right here. We can also import an address list or maybe export one if we want to. So this way I will be able to save all of my addresses right here in last password. I don't have to carry these documentations and diaries in order to save addresses. Now it's the future and we can just save everything right here with LastPass. Now to add payment cards, again, go to payment cards right here. Click on this plus icon which says add item. And now I'm going to add a debit card. Okay. So you have to add the name, the name. So you can name the any company name. Uh, then you have to add the type. So in here, I will simply type in because it's a MasterCard. There you go. So you will fill in the number, security code, start date and date. Of course, uh, here you will select the month and then you have to select the year. Then we have the expiration date. You will again select the date and month from here and you have to type in the year. We can also add the notes right here and click on save. Once you do that, a new card will be created right here. So now I can also delete the card from this option right here. And we have the share option. We can share this one with our company or maybe our family. Then again, we have a bank account. Click on this add item option. To create a bank account, you simply add the item name, bank name, account type, routing number, account number, Swift code, IBAN number, PIN number, branch address, branch phone, and notes. Once you have added all the details right here, you're good to go. You will be able to save the bank account right here on your last pass. And this way, we can simply go ahead and add our passwords, um, addresses, payment cards, and bank account on LastPass and actually get access to all of our passwords very easily with just one platform. So yeah, guys, this brings us to the end of the video. I hope that I was a big help to you. And now you know how to use LastPass. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube channel.